Tonight we have an update on the crash that killed four people in New Hampshire over the weekend. Police have identified Kyle McGowan of Kennebunk as the driver of the Subaru who died. And that wreck in Rawlingsford, New Hampshire, also killed three people from South Berwick. New Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse caught up with some of the family members grieving the sudden devastating loss and found out how they'll choose to remember their loved ones. Three victims in Sunday's crash are from here in South Berwick. I spoke with Gavin Sword Sr., who told me about the loved ones he lost in the crash. His son, Gavin Swords Jr., Gavin's partner, Sean Kamsik, and his father-in-law, Pete Ronchi, were killed in the crash. Swords Sr. says the three of them absolutely loved life. He says Swords Jr. loved art and theater and was very active in local projects. Kamsik is described as a makeup and cosmetic genius who had a great heart. Sword Sr. says Ranji was very close with the two of them and was a very active and loving grandfather. We also spoke with Shannon Bowser, the director of the Museum of New Art Portsmouth, where Gavin Swords Jr. worked. She told me about how he'll be missed by the community. He would uh, made it a point to, you know, learn about the artists, approach the visitors, give them some information, but in a really positive way. He was always smiling. He was always happy and willing. He fully participated in life. He really fully participated in life and in a really gentle way. It was so nice. The crash happened just a few miles from downtown South Berwick on Route 4 near Toll Road. Rawlingsford, New Hampshire police are continuing to investigate. In South Berwick, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine.